All right. It's Straight Talk 901. I got a special guest on this joint today, my guy Interstate Day. I know my brother since he was a, a little youngin'. Uh, it's really, we're going to call this one a celebration, bro, because uh, me and you both been through a lot of things and I like coming up. I was around y'all back in the day, but then, you know, people's lives change and we, we grow and go our own ways. But it's a blessing for us to be back um, helping each other with our brands. You, you helping yeah. my brand and we discussing your brand. So, sure. so I, I want to yes, give a big salute to that, bro. And uh, so, tell the people a little something about what you got going on and who you are, bro. Uh, man, uh, Interstate Day, man, that was a nice intro too. Yeah, I appreciate you, that, you, bro. You invented this. Hey, hey, man, I'm trying to be. So, it's your boy you Interstate know? Day, though, man. Artist, North Memphis, Tennessee. You know what I'm saying? I got my album back on road out. This is what I've been campaigning, pushing and promoting. Hey, go check that album out. I ain't trying to cut you off, but yeah. I'm excited about that joint. Go check that album out back on road, and uh, we're going to give y'all a little backstory on what's going on with it. So I, I want to dive straight in on something. Uh, I want to dive, like, super straight in on something. Uh, I want you to tell the people how you getting your music out right now. And, and I'm only asking you to tell them because... I be seeing some people throwing shade about, you know, the way you doing the music, not saying that they speaking on you per se, but, mm -hmm. you know, tell the people how you pushing your music and, and how you getting these units moved. Man, I go, uh, man, city to city every weekend, man. Independent grinding, sitting straight out the trunk. You know what I'm saying? Out like the trunk like Pete. I'm going with these niggas scared to do. You know what I'm saying? Facts. And man, shit, I'm going to keep it independent that way, that way. I can still make music, but I'm kind of too old to just be making music for fun. So That's I can right. get paid off of it. You know what I'm saying? Whether you know me or not. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's where I go with it, bro. So I go city to city every weekend, catch all the big events. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And sell my music. Yeah, yeah. So you done sold 5,750 copies. Yeah, my goal was 5,000. And, and you set the price for the albums at? 29. But I see people giving you 50, 100, exactly. 200. All types of money for the album. <laughs> yeah, and my goal was to sell 5,000, bro. So for me to, you know, calculate it and see, I done sold damn near 6,000 already. That's six figures out the trunk, y'all. And I'm going somewhere with this. Yeah. I want to bring up something I saw somebody say on social media in a minute, but straight out the trunk. Straight out the trunk. You sold to celebrities. I saw you uh, with Eddie, you know, selling to Eddie George. Yeah. Uh, a couple more celebrities. Uh, you hit. Super Bowl weekend, yeah, yeah, All Star weekend, so out there in Vegas. Live. Yeah. So, what it feel like being out there at All Star weekend and the Super Bowl? You know, with, with celebrities buying your album at a hundred dollars, fifty dollars. I ain't seen nobody hand you a twenty. Yeah, yeah, that's a blessing though, bro. I mean, like you know, that's what I do, man. That's why I do it because I know it's gonna happen. You just gotta have faith. A lot of niggas be scared. Yeah, I'm going out there. I'm coming back with something. You hear me? Hey, I ain't scared to got a whole family to feed, and and, 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 and I gotta bring this up. I, and, and I don't know if it was shade or, you know, somebody always throwing some kind of shade, finding a way to bring somebody down. But I seen somebody dissing people for selling CD, man. People still selling CDs, woo do this and that. Yeah. But, you know, you clocking in at a job you don't even like. My guy here making six figures off his album, feeding man, his listen, family. I just told you, I sold 5,750 CDs. Like, and I done and seen this, it. This has been like three months. My, 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 my tape dropped, but September 29th, I was like, I told you. So they're like three, four months, a nigga that ran over a hundred thousand. Come on, just off this come album. on, you know hey! And then people got the nerve to still shoot the hustle down. Um, yeah, I, 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 I saw a post before I actually set up today. I was walking in. I'm like, damn! Somebody was like, everybody got cameras now. We need to put the cameras up, and I don't think so. We don't need to put up the CD. Whatever grind is working for you, you need to keep grinding. And I say all the time, don't never let people that's not doing shit tell you how to do shit when you doing your shit. And there's a lot of people out here not doing their thing yeah. because they too worried about what somebody's seeing. They ain't worried about what they putting out to the world. They too worried about, and then these people who not helping you climb the ladder ain't helping you do nothing. Nice. They ain't help you do nothing and want to criticize you for how you moving, but you know, you I taking care of your family you know. off your music. I don't know anybody else right now personally that's taking care of their whole family off their music. Yeah, and that's major, bro. Man, appreciate that's it. That's major, bro. I just stay in my own line. You know, you're gonna have people, you know, people talk about God, Jesus, you know, you gonna people gonna talk whatever you're doing, bro. Yeah. If you ain't talking, you ain't doing nothing. You ain't doing nothing. So hey, 
I'm dizzy too, though. You know what I'm saying? That's right. I'm hitting from all angles. I got my album, but I got my singles and shit like they don't ever right. Spotify. But I got to get paid off this hey, album, though. You, you know be surrounded by a lot of heavy hitters too. Uh, yeah. I be seeing you out with Boogie yeah, on stage yeah, with brother. Big Boogie. Yeah, that's my brother. Man. Okay, yeah. okay. Salute to Big Boogie for sure, man. Sure. That's a good look. And and Zuri Ariana and and, and your girl Zuri. She yeah. sold some lip gloss to Glow Yeah, yeah. Man, oh Big Z. Salute to Zuri. Hey, I just shot her out on my last podcast with Sean Rumby. I'm yeah. gonna shoot her out every chance I can get. Her, Nolan the kid, but this ain't about them right now. Yeah. I just had to, you know, that's my son, that's his daughter. And through the through the midst of us going through what we going through, grinding, taking care of our business, we got our children in the limelight as well. So yeah. I know you seen that. Yeah, Z. Yeah, Z. I saw it. Yeah, I love it, bro. Everything was good. I thought you were going to whoop somebody in the boxing ring, but uh, y'all were just dancing. I know if I was in there, you'd have knocked me out. Big Z. Big Z. Yeah, yeah, man. So that's got to be a good feeling to be able to be surrounded by like-minded people and people actually out here uh, on their grind. Yeah. So, you know, uh, sal salute to that, bro. So speaking back about the album, bro, like what's what's one of your favorite songs on the album, bro? The the, the yeah. main one. And I know you put, put your blood, sweat and tears into all of them. But yeah. what was your favorite hit on the album? What you think? Which song on the album you think is actually holding the album up, the foundation of the album? I ain't going to lie to that. Uh, that, that uh, damn, I got a feel. But nah, I like the Project Pat that Flow. I say, that Project mm. Pat Flow. That they joint hit uh, like this. That joint, yeah, that's the one. That the Project, Project Pat, Pat Flow. I got the video to it on YouTube. For sure. Hey, we going to play yeah. some of the video here on the show. As a matter of yeah. fact, I'm going to end. Can I end the show with the video? Yeah, you could. We're going to end the show with the video. And, and what's your I Instagram? I just a new video, too, called Life of a G. I just dropped it the other day, too. Life of a G. So, Y'all yeah, look out for my guy, Interstate Day. Follow him. What are you on Instagram again? Uh, interstate underscore day. That's interstate underscore D-A-E. Interstate underscore Facebook, DA. Interstate day, everything interstate day, man. For sure, for sure. All right. So look, let me ask you another question, bro. Um, as far as balancing your balancing your studio time and family time and your time on the road, uh, is that do you find it hard to do or I mean, I ain't gonna say I find it hard to do because it's something that just is is naturally in me. Like, you got you know a passion for it all. And then they got like this yeah. what I've been doing. Like everything really just come full circle. It be fit yeah. in, you know what I'm saying? And for sure. I ain't missing to be with them kids. I don't care what's going on. You yeah, know right. What I'm That's so, right. It's good, man. I feel like this is what a nigga got to go through, man. This is what the grace go through, man. You know That's what I'm what's saying? up. Yeah. That's facts, man. I was just speaking to them before we set up on the losses I took this year. I lost my pops. I lost my Facebook pages. I lost the vehicle. I almost lost my house due to some plumbing issues, bro. Yeah. But I'm still finding a way to sit down and make this thing work, bro. I have been going through it, but hey, get what? They got to keep fighting. Shout out to Lebo Soprano, yeah, his big brother. big brother. Shout out man. to the whole family. Y'all got some real legends, some yeah. some real history in y'all family. But get what? We don't let nothing stop, though, man. Yeah, shout out Big Brother, man. You know, that's the other half of Money First Record, man. Money First. Shout out Lebo, man. Yeah, shout out to Lebo. All right, I want to go back a little bit and touch up on something real important. And I try to do this on every show. Not every show, but on shows who I know I'm connected with people who really about their business and about their life. And what I mean is about their life is about growth, uh, breaking generational curses and building uh, generational wealth. And that's what I see you doing for your kids and your family. Uh, how important is that to you um, as far as making sure, you know, you can create enough for yourself, yeah. but have enough to leave? To your kids i mean like bro like right now it ain't even about me no more like this Dang. all is about i'm glad I'm you done. said I that. did this year. I'm, I'm you know what i'm saying this shit, when yeah. i got kids and shit now bro i'm doing everything for them in case i can be Dang. you know what i'm saying you know this shit can be in and out tomorrow, hey, bro. that's you a feel? super big flex we like, be talking about the wrong flexes me, you know what i'm saying Fact. it's not yeah. about us no more exactly them kids here so shit, i try my best you know what i'm saying to do the best that i can do yeah and you know what I'm saying? Had them, my the, the goal, the generational wealth. Thanks. And to all you young cats out there, having babies, take care of your seeds. That's the biggest flex in the world is taking care of these children. It's cool to have mom at the house nurturing, but kids need their daddies, man. That's how you and, get them. And best. I'm sitting with some real G's, and I'm sitting with some real hustlers and some real businessmen telling you 
they wealth really come from their kids. My kids give me so much energy to provide for them and to provide for my family and to keep going. If I ain't had kids, I'd have been gave up with everything been, going on, bro. I ain't giving when you're looking at Did them and they looking at you. That's right. You know what I'm saying? They give you that hope, give you that energy, man. Facts. Put a boost in you, you ain't think you had, man. Hey, it's Father's Day, I'm gonna start giving my kids gifts, bro. Man, what? Because <laughs> if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't even be getting it like this. Yeah. And I'm not down in myself. It just took a lot to get me from where I was at to where I'm at today, bro. And one of them biggest things is my wife and my kids, bro. Yeah, that's so real. here we go, bro. I'm grinding that's, it out. That's another important thing, though. Like, I got a strong yeah. gap, man. You, you know do. what I'm saying? Like, for sure. They would, they would put the whole thing together. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's right. the brain of the operation. Yeah. I feel like every man need a strong queen behind him. You know what I'm saying? Fact, fact, bro. And I'm glad you said that, bro, because um, I, I had a couple people I had to cut off the show, bro, because, <clears throat> you know, I don't mind speaking on certain things, but what I'm not going to do is sit with a man, you know, that ain't taking care of a woman, run a woman down for what she should be doing as a wife, bro. Like, that ain't, that's not what we doing on this platform. You cannot come on here with none of that. The, every all this man versus woman stuff, this and that, we not doing that here. <laughs> we only ride with real hustlers, right, right. <laughs> real people on the rise trying to do positive things and take care of their business, bro. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. So <clears throat> let me ask you this, bro. As far as the rap career, bro, how did you get into that? Um, now I remember back in the day, your brother Lebo, uh, he put me on to to some things dealing with the music. It didn't work out for me. It, you know, I started having kids. A lot of other things started going on. Everybody went their own way. Yeah, I remember that but he, back in the day. Yeah, yeah. Hey, he was so heavy into it, and he never gave up. Is he kind of like what inspired you to yeah, to do the music? He for sure one of the reasons. Like this, this is what I grew up into. Then he got yeah. he like six years older than me, so. I was the younger one. I'm, I'm trying sure. to run it. You know, everybody want to do what their big brother and them doing. For all sure. my cousins, everybody was rapping. Like, that was the, that was the family did. But yeah, my big brother, he for sure. Yeah. A big part of the reason why, you know yeah. what I'm saying, a nigga doing what they doing. Yeah, family full of hustlers. Hey, I remember we was out in the East at Look Her How. When I first seen you had a little fro, bro. We was yeah. I think we were jumping on you or something, bro. You were real young, bro. And yeah. To be honest, when I got old and seen you with uh, Lebo, it had been so long. I hadn't I, it, it didn't click. On, on to me, that's who you was, bro. Yeah. And I started looking, I'm like, this nigga rapping, them folks <laughs> whipping out here, bro, traveling, doing the music, bro. It's a good thing, bro. Yeah, it's bro. a good thing, bro. So what's your next move? What's your, do you ever think about getting into films, movies? Yeah, I've been thinking acting. about that lately. Yeah, yeah, when the yeah. time right, when the time come, I'm gonna be ready for whatever, man. You well, are you, you uh, all right, so what, what type of movies would you want to get down in? Cause I'm thinking about shooting some movies, but my movie, I don't want to do the typical street gangster matter. movie. Ain't I want to do some funny, goofy comedy yeah. movies, bro. It don't matter what kind of movie I'm in, as long as I ain't playing no, you know, gay person. No, no like this, dressing up with <laughs> no one. I can do any kind of movie. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out how I'm gonna put this. I gotta keep that. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna keep that on. <laughs> oh God, I swear. So you that's cool. This shit going on already. You gotta let it be known, man. Facts, facts. How long have you been pushing the back on road album? Uh, I dropped it September 29th, man. September 29th. So, September 29th. That when I dropped it. it back on road. It mean a lot to me though because you know I uh, I ain't really been on the road like this the last few years. You know I had opened up a restaurant. That's right. I went in with my brother. You know, that's right. I had my you know Zeke. She turned up. She was playing basketball. She, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I kind of like, kind of lost focus. Of, at the though, end of the day, it's for the kids. At the end of the day, though, like this yeah. is what it brought me back to, though. That's right. It was going to help me generate everything. Yeah, I, I remember you slowed it down for a little while. Yeah. And I was like, okay. And then when, when I seen the back on road, it made perfect sense. I said, because we was already telling you to stick to it, get with it. Yeah, for but sure. But you was pushing your daughter and pushing, you know, the making still pushing the restaurant. The no, no, time, yeah, you still lie, but you, you kind of put yourself on. On ice for a while. Yeah, because you know. I was like, dog, you can do it all because you talented, bro. Yeah, Real talented, sure. bro. But yeah, uh, so God, I just feel like this is my path, but it's what I was told to do. God yeah. put me right back on this path. Even if I try to do other things, open up a restaurant, this, this, that should lead me right back to her. But like, this what Still I, this what I'm most comfortable. And I had the most fun doing, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So it's back on road. So is the restaurant the reason why? The main reason why you slowed down, yeah, yeah, that's with the, for sure, cause the man. wings was popping, bro. Yeah, yeah, I missed that sure, little spot, man. bro. Yeah, yeah. You know, they, they they take time, hard work, dedication. Like you can't, 
be here and be there. I can't be on the road and try to watch this. You know what I'm saying? So right, you got to do right. it right. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't, if it ain't getting done right, yeah. I ain't, I'm going to wait till it's getting done right. You know well, what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, let me ask you, do you feel like your music and your hustle has saved your life? Because there's, there's, uh, there's so yeah. many other things that a lot of us have gotten into and could have gotten into, um, but yet, here we go. You know what for I'm saying? Sure. That's for sure saved my life. Like, isn't just really being from where I'm from, hustling it saved my life. Like, not Thanks. in the other way. Like, when I was young, this shit started before the CD. Like, mm -hmm. we used to flip on beer, screw my big cousin. Yeah. And then we upgraded from that. We used to sell candy. We were the little boy walking around <laughs> yeah. selling chocolate bars and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, hustle been in. older. I elevated it to, she didn't know the game, the CD. Yeah. It took it across country. Facts, facts. I know that's got to be a good feeling to hop in the whip, load up the trunk with hella CDs. That's what I always wanted to do. I yes. really, like, I, I think I think the, you know, having the phones and clicking the button, I think it's cool, but I think it creates a lot of laziness in people. People yes, really man. depend. Like, I know people who got 5,000 Facebook friends, and they solely depend on these 5,000 people to support them. I might be wrong. But I see people yeah. popping up, hey, my album come out tomorrow. Who going to buy my album? My thing is, bro, you've been Facebook friends with these people for probably <laughs> since Facebook started. They don't know when your album dropping. Mm -hmm. They know when such and such drop. They know mm -hmm. when that cowboy Carter drop. You know what I'm saying? So, you know. See, the thing about it is different, too, though, because a nigga going around touching these people. That's you right. You got fans forever. They get to see you your personality, your they swag. Get to see you. They get to I met him in yeah, the bar. Yeah, that's right. I got so many people that came up to me, bro, bought a CD. Went, this just happened this, this last weekend on the truck. We were just, we were just in Clarksville. Clarksville. Uh, dude bought a CD, went out there, he bought my music. I had to come back in there and give me another 20. Come on, man. so hard like her, bro. That shit too hard. Like, got paid twice. For, my guy got man? paid twice. For one album. Yeah, like you like this. One shit album. Keep going. Hundreds of dollars, for, hundreds, twenties, so, fifties. So I done seen it. When you speak on the people that be saying, oh, I still send it, like that don't mean shit to me. They not paying me. You feel yeah, right. me? Right. And the music getting heard. Yeah, the music getting heard, all types of you running to people. Living you, your life. I run into so many major people, not even the celebrities, but major, you know what I'm saying? People that got networks and stuff like this. So that's what it's about, bro. You know, go see the city network. At the same time, you know, it, it, it's a nigga living and seeing the world and it's paying for itself at the That's same right. time. Ain't so spending get, nothing for the room. Get both sides, you know what I'm saying? It's going to pay for itself. That's all right. I gotta do, all I got to do is get out there. How many cities you been to this year? Man, don't give me the <laughs> I know, I, I, I know. St. Louis, Las Man. Vegas, Man, Louis, Naptown, Vegas, Naptown, all through Kentucky. All through Kentucky. You be hitting the colleges up? Nah, see, yeah, sometimes like like not right now, it's Mar Madness time. I'm about to start going doing my little Mar Madness tour. Yeah. So this was the time I be hitting the college up. Or like That's when right. it's a big game like Road Tide, Alabama and shit like that. Yeah. When they got big game, yeah, I go out there and hit them up too. You okay. know, you gotta touch everybody. Somebody yeah. tried to rob me, bro. Me yeah. And my brother was together. <laughs> you know, that's around the time Levo had first got the chain, the money first regular chain. I remember shit, that so. chain. They trying to nigga, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we, I go out there, we go take care of a little business. Long story short, you know what I'm saying? Nigga up on a nigga, you know what I'm saying? He had the gun right here in my head though, bro. Yeah. Like just by the grace of God, like I was able to maneuver through that shit. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It like, shit, that was my first time going through it. You feel me? For sure. The whole time, like, I had my gun right here. You know what I'm saying? I had money in my pocket. He like, I need all that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm from Memphis at the same time. I'm like, this nigga green. You feel me? Like, I heard in his voice, like, he be kind of shaking. So I'm yeah. just bagging up. You know what I'm saying? And shit, my brother was behind me. You know what I'm saying? When he get to taking off, you know what I'm saying? Then he, he, uh, see, that's why I don't tell nobody I'm scrapped, bro. You hear me? That, Fact, that saved sure. my life. I'll never show my strap. That saved bro. my life, bro. You feel me? Yeah. But like, before the shit had even happened, he like, man, y'all Memphis niggas, I know y'all keep this crap. You feel yeah, me? yeah, for sure. You know, I look at my brother, you know. He we funny, laugh, yeah. We laughing it out. Man, mm -hmm. if I wanted to eat dumb ass niggas, I'd be like, oh, yeah, you know I got this, 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 this. But that shit but, saved my life, though, bro. Yeah, like, for sure. When he upped the gun on me, like, it's in my face. I'm just bagging up. So you brother, ain't had no choice but to You know what I'm saying? My brother yourself. took back off, you know what I'm saying? That's when he got the gun off me for like a split second. He was like, yeah. you reach. And by the time he did that, Shit, I, you know, took him my business, had to blow his ass out, you Facts. know what I'm saying? Facts. I ain't go through no legal troubles and shit, because everything was self-defense. You know, the police came and everything. We had them in the middle of nowhere. They take us down there. Facts. 
Thanks. You know what I'm saying? Get the gun. And I ain't knowing him or who he is, or you know what I'm saying? But yeah. the reason they got him because he called the ambulance on himself. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And so they found out he had a gun beside him. And then that when I when the, when the investigator came in, now he was like, "This dude third time getting shot trying to rob somebody." So I'm like, oh, "I'm good." <laughs> never gave up. So yeah, that never gave up. Now he can't rob you know no more, man. Prayers for your family, bro. Yeah, for sure. So sure. I went home, slept yeah. like a baby, though. Salute to you, bro. And and I'm glad you made it out this situation alive. Shout out to the grace of God. Facts, man. because if it wasn't if it wasn't for you protecting yourself, then Zuri wouldn't be where she is. Not counting out. Yeah. Her mama, I'm just speaking as far as the music and the energy. She know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. It's that extra drive Zuru that men like, have. Zuru was like three years old. Like yeah. Zuru was like, yeah, three years old. So that mean I would not. And then that shit happened like two days for my mama's birthday. Come so on, man. I could have been gone for my mama's birthday. I wouldn't have nah. seen Zuru out of three. I wouldn't even have my son, Big Dunk. Heck. You feel me? So I'd I, I be thankful, blessed for that every day, though, because it ain't like. I'm just macho, you know what I'm saying? God just with me, you know what I'm saying? And I, I got a big heart, bro. For sure, man. Salute to that. And God going to keep carrying you too, bro, because he know sure. our heart. So sure. at the end of the day, hey, here we go. On Straight Talk 901. Hey, man. Straight Talk 901, <laughs> man. This the business here, man. Y'all got to salute this, man. This going to be the number one platform yeah. for the city and the industry. Watch what we tell you. Man. I'm telling you. For it's sure. Good. So what's next for you, fam? Man, more music, you more know what music. I'm saying? Man, my daughter, Big Z, Big Z. I'll be looking for her, you know. Big what I'm Z, saying? come. Well, now nah, I would she, tell her come get on the. Right come here, quickly. Big Z. Come here, hello. Matter of fact, hold on. Let me let me put this mic on you, Big Z. I'm gonna stand over here so I can talk to you, so I can be close to these mics. Big Z, I want you to look into uh that camera right here. The one in the middle. The one over there by Dunk. Oh, okay. Talk I to him. Hey y'all, my name what, is... What happened to you? It's not the little one, not, it's the big you one. You gotta let me start. Okay, go ahead. Okay, what's up y'all? What's up Z-Babies? It's your girl Zuri, Ariana, and I am here with my father in a state day, and we are doing an interview, as you can see by now. All right, now pop your stuff, I, like, like you do. It's not, it's oh. not the little one, it's the big <laughs> one. I wasn't ready for this. Okay. Did you bring me some little gloves? I like glitter in my job. Yo, what about you can still you can fix this hairline now. Remember, I asked you last time. Oh, wow. Did that guy work? Has it got work? <laughs> oh, definitely. Let me no, ask I'm you. Not, Who do your hair? Uh, my big cousin. Shoot out. Uh, shout out. I don't know her Instagram, but shout out my big cousin. DJ. Can she okay. fix this? Is what I want to know. Probably not. I okay, right, nobody right. can fix that. But anyway, uh, yeah, I sell lip gloss. My um website is zuraariana.com. And I sell lip gloss and t-shirts, and there will be more coming. So make sure y'all go check that out. All right, salute, Zuri. Let me get back on here real quick. <laughs> Appreciate that. I had to let you make your appearance. Hey, man. Well articulate. I'm here with my father. Yeah. Well articulate. <laughs> well put, Zuri. Hey, man, I'm proud of you, bro. I so appreciate that. I seen where you come from. I know the background, the history, you know, a little bit of the family being around, the family growing up. And, and I gotta tell you, I'm proud of you, bro. And and I, and I, and it's it's a big, it's a celebration, bro. For for me to have you here sitting in front of me, bro. You could have been long gone over there. I could have been long gone over here, That's but we back in man. the city, uh, and we sitting down and we enjoying our life. So sure. salute to you, bro. And uh, we gonna wrap this thing up. We gonna end this joint with one of my homie videos. Go on, introduce the song. Uh, this uh that life of a G right here, man. I shot that joint out there in Vegas with my boy Two Time Production. When I thought, Salute when I to Two Time Production. Uh, when I was out there at the Super Bowl and shit. Yeah. Shot yeah. that joint around that time. He so. was the one shooting them back in the day. Yeah, yeah. In Cali. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, well, you were yeah. going out to Cali, so I keep my eye out on, yeah. on the greats. Yeah, so and, and, like and, the reunion Queen did it in years. You know what I'm saying? So facts. like two times. And I'm a videographer myself, but I'm the one that shared the wealth. Yeah, so if sure. you ever own the city. If you ever in the city and you looking for a videographer, what's the name? Two Times Productions. Yeah. I'm gonna two put his I, Two Times Productions. I'm gonna put his IG and everything up on here. Y'all look out for him. Good work. Uh, Zuri Ariana putting out good work. Yeah. Proud of y'all, man. Sure, man. Salute, bro. Appreciate that. Bro. All right, it's Straight Talk 901. We out this joint. Yeah.
the life of a G I keep it real, ain't no flaws in me Them pills are sparking, ain't no walking with me Yeah, this the life of a G If you a hater, you a target to me Them niggas switching, that's been bothering me Yeah, this the life of a G I keep it real, ain't no flaws in me Them pills are sparking, ain't no walking with me Yeah, this the life of a G If you a hater, you a target to me Them niggas switching, that's been bothering me Yeah, this the life of a G the life of a thug, nigga, my mom in church And my daddy was drug dealing, yeah, he had to work They were filling the trucks with it, get popped like a perp Even though I don't fuck with them, yeah, they know what's up Nigga, it's up, then it's stuck, nigga They claiming that it's beef, now they just mad I don't fuck with them Took off on them boys, I left they ass in the dust, nigga You gotta be much quicker, I tell them catch up, nigga Yeah, they really feel it, cause I really live it Big boy crib on the hill they were I lay my kids and send them boys on the drill. They gon' aim where your wig is. Evo say them boys ain't real. I just thought he was wigging. Yeah, these niggas envy me. They really my men and me. Money first to the death of me. Yeah, that mean to the enemy. These niggas be friend of me. I ain't feeling your energy. When we slide on the op, that mean we ride on our enemy. The life of a G. I keep it real. Ain't no flaws in me. Them pills are sparking. Ain't no walking with me. Yeah, this the life of a G. If you a hater, you a target to me. Them niggas switching, that's been bothering me. Yeah, this the life of a G. I keep it real. Ain't no flaws in me. Them pills are sparking. Ain't no walking with me. Yeah, this the life of a G. If you a hater, you a target to me. Them niggas switching, that's been bothering me. Yeah, this the life of Oh, interstate man, running around playing this house. Man, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Little old me, big old world, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, you know what I'm saying, running circles around it, man. You know what I'm saying? You. Shout out to Interstate Dave, right all the way from London.